At Dry Falls, we gathered around a vivid autumn tree. Looking at this tree from many angles, the afternoon sun seemed to be amplified by the golden shades of its leaves. Sitting down, I listened as the wind carried nearby voices along. As I continued to observe my surroundings, the leaves became the figure, while the tree faded to the ground. Nearby, Pan practiced his swordsmanship among the falling leaves. The soft light bouncing around this environment highlighted each leaf. In the shadowed depths, tangled branches stood in solemn stillness. The Golden Tree was our base camp in the vast expanse that we would soon begin to explore. Feeling eager, we set out for our field locations. Our group later named the Carrot Spoons, set out for Deep Lake. We took our time to admire the still surface of the lake, surrounded by towering mesas. One destination, simply dubbed La Mesa, was the site of a massive waterfall over 10,000 years ago. On top of the mesa, we looked down at the valley below, noticing our campground in the distance. There is a strong community building movement into which we are enfolded. People are taking back public spaces, promoting cooperative ways of living, and supporting local businesses. We also recognize the importance in keeping a global perspective while working within the local community. We are aware that some of our collective behaviors are not serving us well and have resolved to modify our lifestyles in support of the planet. We are reassessing our notions of wisdom. Long-standing ecosystems are altered in the effort to produce short-term gain. Nature's wealth is depleted, processed, sent to the far reaches of the planet, and delivered back to us in boxes. A beehive, intricately crafted, unique, shaped by collective effort. The bees that have constructed this hive probably did not have a notion of the final design, and have since gone. How are we shaping our home planet, and how long will we be able to steward this wonderful gift?